So for another example of sort of how graphs come into things, uh, consider this. Back in the 18th century, uh, there was a Prussian city called Kunisberg, uh, where a river, you can see here, ran through the city, uh, it, the river forks, uh, and, and there were seven bridges that connected, uh, that crossed the various forks of the river. And as a weekend amusement, people would see if they could find a route that would take them across every bridge once, uh, and then return them to where they started. And, uh, uh, Leonard Euler uh, was sort of the father of this branch of mathematics called graph theory, and he analyzed this problem, uh, and kind of like we're doing, introduced a uh, graph into this situation. So let's see if we can do that here. So really, what's important? What we really care about is the bridges. You know, if I start here and, oops, yeah, if I start here and walk across this bridge, and then I'm going to walk across this bridge. I don't really care how far I have to walk here. That's not relevant to this question, right? All that matters is that I went from this island to this side, and then maybe walked back across this bridge to really, we walked back to this side of the, of, uh, go back to the island. And then if I walk across this bridge, and then walk back across to the island, I'm really, treating all of this island as one location. So really we have sort of the, the whole, the whole north bank area up here. We have our, our island here, and uh, we have our whole south bank here, and, and our whole sort of east bank uh, over here. And we have two bridges connecting the north bank to the island, two bridges connecting the south bank to the island, one bridge connecting the island to the east bank, one bridge collecting the, connecting the north bank to the east bank, and one bridge connecting the east bank to the south bank. And this picture starts getting at sort of the core notion, but again, it doesn't really matter where in the north bank we are. So what we could do is shrink this entire north bank down to a single vertex and the island could be represented by a single vertex, and the south bank can be represented by a single vertex, and the east bank can be represented by a single vertex. And there are two routes to get from the north bank to the island, two routes to get from the south bank to the island, one route here, one route here, and one route here. And so here is a simplified graph that represents this scenario. And by looking at this graph, it makes it a little easier to look at the question of, you know, is it possible to walk over every bridge? In this case, that would mean crossing over every edge once and return to your starting location. In other words, return to your starting vertex.